welcome to my quarantine cabin. Well, we're all quarantined up. You don't have to worry about us. I've been a hairstylist since I was uh, 19. That's probably about the age that I met Dominic when he first came to San Diego. And he was training out of Undisputed. Been cutting his hair ever since. How many years has that been? Over 10. Over 10. I was 21. Dominic, you had Ronda Rousey with you during Ultimate Fighter Show. Yeah, I, was, I remember like I was warming up with her and I was like, yeah, yeah, show me some moves. And I let her throw me and like, she threw me so hard, she almost knocked me out on the floor. Like literally, like I didn't put, I didn't do the judo crash where you hit your hand on the floor and she almost knocked me out cold. And I was like, I looked at her when I got up, like, like insulted, like, why did you do that to me? She's like, you gotta put your hands on I was not ready. She threw you were the like, she threw why the would you do that to me? <laughs> she threw me so like, hard. Yeah. Hey, she's a beast. This is a uh, Raider. I'm a huge Raiders fan. This is day one. Raider will be 10 in August. I got him when he was six weeks. Me and uh, three of my roommates got him and his brother and his sister all at the same time. So they lived together for the first year. So it's, it was cool, man. He was, uh, I'm glad I have him now, man. I wouldn't want to live in that house by myself. My parents were never big fans of dogs, so. I never really, I had some growing up, but they were all not good experience. My dad called the pound on one of them <laughs> because he was eating uh, sheep though. So he was gonna have to pay for the <laughs> so I don't blame him. My mom took him for a walk. She was so tired. I was like, that's cause you weren't talking to him like a mom. You didn't scare him. You just gotta put a little bit of fear into him and he'll listen. Hey, wait up. I like to freak people out like this. So you should be walking your dog, you know? You went out of order, dude. No, I didn't. Nice. That counts as two. Yeah, he's at three. You gotta make these three and two at a time. It's all right, I'm good. Wait, what? you're not gonna go for this one? Well, why? I can go to that one. Cause you're gonna miss. Well, that's ducks on a pond. You'll miss a duck. Watch this. Scratch, too. Watch this. Watch this. Scratchy loose? All right, just, just add one. Yep. <laughs> Why did you do that? God! God! I think um, for me, you know, when I started, I was like, sure, it's a way to make money. What's to be exciting? No. And um, no. being able to perform, you know, knowing that so many people are watching, knowing the recognition that, you know, you can achieve through this. Right there, there's five. I'm getting paid when I'm getting paid because of the way I fought. Uh, there's guys that can be 15 and 0 with, with 13 decisions, you know, and they're not getting looked at by nobody. I got the opportunity to fight on bigger stages because of the way I fought early on in my career, which definitely legitimized myself as one of the most exciting fighters to ever step inside the octagon. There it is, there it is. Got it. But um, I think to solidify that, I need to win a belt, you know, and that's. I just care about making weight and knocking Tony out so I can take the belt back home to my parents and they get to enjoy it with me. I'll tell you what, we'll let you play bullseyes, dude. <laughs> play with the big boys. So we just got down here. It's like around Sunset Cliffs area. It's just a nice run, something different by the coast. It'll. I run for an hour. I like to do time instead of like distance because I just know what I, I have a good idea of what I burn in about an hour's time. And realistically, it's not rocket science when you're cutting weight. You just have to burn more fuel than you put into the body. It's that simple. It's just the beginning of the end right here. This is like more crowded than ever in the history of the beach, I think. Especially at night. Like no one's out at night. Everybody's usually at home. Everybody's looking to be outdoors because they're stuck in their house all day. You can see it.
Tony got there yesterday. Nice. We got to stay home a bit. You know, it's like being a, a child. You get to stay out a little bit later. Oh! Right here, this is Nate Marquardt when he fought McCory. Yeah, he takes a UFC glove, cuts it up, makes it into a wallet. I'm gonna have him do that after I... I'm gonna have him do it with the right hand, actually the left hand I knocked Tony out with on Saturday. You know what makes it really good about having a UFC wallet? What's that? When, when you put your card in and it doesn't accept your card, you just throw that thing on and start swinging. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Woo! Swing the toes! So today is just a, like a shakeout. We're really just gonna turn the engine on, turn it off, and then really open up the heart rate in the back with some sprints. But uh, it's a cool down day. Usually we're traveling on this day. So tomorrow will be a day once we land, we'll pick it up just a little bit more to the day. Oh, what's going on in the world has not affected us at all. Having this private gym is, is very beneficial, but this is how we train all the time. So it hasn't really affected us. Yep, speed it up, stay low. Yep, a little lower. And short steps. Yep, pop, 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 pop. Oh, oh, yeah, let's do it again. Think short hip, almost like defense. Yeah, higher with your left hand. It's good. Uh, taking this fight on short notice, would, in the first fight, before it was canceled the first time, was a little short notice. This actually benefited us. It was like a real training camp, because our fourth week out, uh, when the fight was canceled, uh, that would be our fourth week from the ninth. That's where we, we pull back a little bit anyway, so we can go really hard in the third and second week and peak hard. And he's peaked perfectly, so I'm, uh, he's 100%. I'm really looking forward to this fight. Slip switch. Good. Slip, slip, roll. Slip, slip, switch, body. And take a break. America's greatest pastime, baseball. Kurt Gibson uh, signed my ball when I was little, and then uh, he played for the Dodgers. And then we ended up getting his signature when he, put, when he was managing the Detroit Tigers. And he looked at the ball, and he was like, Get this. I was like, you signed this There's when I was days. younger, man. Kept oh, it over yeah. the years and he signed it again so when we were older. So dope. Make it pick it. We'll do it again. Going before the storm, man. Today's Tuesday. We're getting ready. Yesterday we ran 5.6 miles. Uh, we ran over the Blue Bridge. We went that way. And then I had it in my head just to keep running and get acclimated right away. Gage is not going to be here till Wednesday, so you know we beat him to the punch already. and. I already did maybe, what, two or three sessions already, man. And uh, we're already ahead of schedule, and that's how we should be. We played a couple weeks ago, yeah, but it wasn't a big deal to me. You can't get a weight cut. And uh, to have that commitment and, and follow through with it. Um, I'm an athlete. So you want to miss a game, you want to keep playing. And if you don't if you don't make the weight or you don't make the grade, you don't play. It's good practice to be able to, to do all of that. That's how we all represent, man. We got one of the best teams in the world, and uh, we beat most of them. And we're going to keep adding to that record. So 16 and 1, soon to be 17 and 1. Everything. Games in the park. Stay out, guys.